The python and leviathan spirits of the kingdom of darkness represent the unclean spirits that support the kingdom of darkness and they support Satan. They are the children of Satan and they represent the mind of Satan. Their goal is to restrict your testimony about what God has done for you, about what your truth is in your testimony, and the truth about the captivity that you've experienced if you've been in a relationship with a narcissist. The children of Satan, the narcissist, which are being run by Jezebel, Python, and Leviathan spirits, must maintain their false narrative of deception and they must maintain a good image at the same time. They are double-minded. They represent the kingdom of darkness. They represent the mind of Satan. So the strong men of Python, Leviathan, and Jezebel spirits, they all work together because the kingdom of darkness is not divided. They all work together to restrict the words of Jehovah and to restrict the overcomer's testimony of victory over the machinations of the kingdom of darkness. The children of Satan are spoiled and are rewarded for their obedience to Satan by supporting the agenda of Satan and of this world. The children of Satan maintain their authority, power, and rank by controlling those whom are telling the truth about narcissistic abuse and satanic ritual abuse. And those people are being held captive in narcissist relationships. Their job is to continue to abuse the children of God. The children of Satan must control their image and their false narrative of their father, Satan, whom they represent. While pretending to represent Jesus, but prove false to that because they expose the works of the flesh and what the results are. So they have rotten fruit because they represent the works of the flesh. For every action of the works of the flesh, there is an equal and opposite reaction. We that are captive, we keep silent to protect the children of Satan, the narcissist, because they condition us that if we speak the truth, we will be punished by them and their network and their flying monkeys to maintain our silence, the deception. Python, Leviathan, and Jezebel's assignment is to conceal our true identity, those of us that are children of God in the kingdom of heaven as we are God's ambassadors of Christ. They restrict the truth because they know that the children of God that represent Jehovah Jesus and the Holy Spirit will usurp their authority, rank, and power in this world. They want us ignorant. They don't want us to know who we are and that we will usurp their authority, power, and rank. We are sitting in high places next to Jesus. They are literally below our feet. These spirits gaslight our perception of reality. They project the kingdom of darkness onto us and represent us as wicked and evil witches of Satan in order to protect their assignments against us. Complete hypocrites. These things try to steal, kill, and destroy us before we realize whom we are in God's kingdom. And when we are seated next to Jesus at the right hand of the Father, Jehovah, we are sitting at the throne of heaven when we are running in our spirit realm. We have the power to destroy the kingdom of darkness, its agents, the narcissist, the demons, all the unclean spirits, the witches, the false prophets, the antichrist spirits, and the lawlessness spirits of Python, Leviathan, and Jezebel. The Python and Leviathan spirits are the flying monkeys the enablers, the eunuchs. They support the false narrative to protect the assignment of the agents of the kingdom of darkness. The spirits of Python and Leviathan control the narrative by casting up. The spirits of Python, Leviathan, and Jezebel control the false narrative 
and support the kingdom of darkness by casting upon you the spirit of rejection, the spirit of shame, the spirit of guilt, the spirit of people pleasing, the spirit of resentment, the spirit of hate, the spirit of murder, the spirit of suicide, the spirit of the curse of the works of the flesh, the spirit of abandonment, the spirit of ostracizing, the spirit of contention, the spirit of dissension, and the spirit of contempt, and the spirit of shame, which keeps you in bondage to the captivity of the narcissist. These spirits of Python and Leviathan operate within the soul realm. The soul realm is identified as the mind, the will, and the emotions. These spirits of Python, Leviathan, and Jezebel do not operate in the spirit realm, which is when you're seated on the right hand of Jesus next to the Father in the heavenly places, you are operating in the spirit realm. And these unclean spirits can't touch you there. But they do operate in the soul realm. The soul is the mind, will, and the emotions. So they attack your mind, your intellect, they attack your emotions, and they attack your free will. When we operate in the realm of the human soul, which is our mind, will, and emotions, we can be fooled by these familiar spirits that are, that are acting as a snare of the fowler. They trap us in the soul realm through a little triangle that keeps us in the human soul realm and keeps us under the captivity of the narcissist, which are the children of Satan. They attack, they attack our mental reasoning, which gets hijacked due to being gaslit and reality manipulation against us. They isolate us from other people so that we, they control our reality. They say, this is what is, and I'm telling you that I'm better than you and you're worse than me. So what I tell you is the truth is the truth. They attack our will, which are passions, why we do what we do. An unhealed empath, in my case, sometimes we are fueled by the fact that we can change the heart condition of the narcissist, that we can love them into a good heart position and love them from the kingdom of Satan into God's kingdom. And they attack our emotions. So, and that's what triggers you. They attack your rejection, your anger, your betrayal. They attack, they attack your emotions and you react emotionally because you are operating in the soul. The emotion part of the, of the soul represent altars of sacrifice, which are the anchors of our allegiances to the works of the flesh. So anytime we hate or in dissension, contention, adultery, fornication, idolatry, uh, outbursts of wrath, envy, jealousy, then they anchor into those emotions of the soul realm. They start to control what we do. They take our free will away because when we alter into any of the works of the flesh, we give them the power or the goods to the kingdom of darkness. They have legal right to keep us in captivity. They use trauma, abuse, control, and programming. They are narcissists that are like dog handlers. So when I was dealing with the domestic abuse shelter, I remember one time that the person on the phone said to me, if I deem that your daughter is in danger from the abuser, by law, I must contact social services and tell them that as a parent, your failure to protect your own child. So here I am confiding in somebody about the abuse at home. And the Python spirit in her choked me and said, if I deemed that you are a failure to protect as a parent, social services will take away your child. And so I shut up. This is Python Leviathan spirit to control the abuser's reign of terror against you and your children to support their abuse. The personal protection order processes in the state of Michigan, you can only document. So the way that personal protection orders work processes in Michigan, you can only document the top three occurrences of why you want, want a boundary of personal protection 
from that person. And they have to be within six months of filing the PPO. So, and after you drudge those up, it's very traumatic because you have to relive it. And at the same time that you're reliving it, you're also questioning whether that the reality of events is actually accurate because the narcissist has told you that your perception of the abuse is not correct. So if the judge denies this personal protection order and the incidents that you, that you use to support the per, uh, personal protection order, you cannot use any of these incidences again if you want to try for a second personal protection order, which tells me that the personal protection order, so the court systems are supporting the kingdom of darkness because when a victim finally tells the truth about what happens and that judge denies it, who's the authority in the kingdom of darkness, then you are not allowed to use any of those incidents again. And you, in my case, my personal protection order was denied because the judge didn't feel that my concerns were valid. So I never got approved for a PPO. And what it did was it supported my narcissist and supported his version of events so he could maintain the image that he was not a domestic abuser. But he was. The truth of the matter was he was a domestic abuser. Altars of emotions are anchors that connect you by a common denominator to your narcissist abuser. The altars of sacrifice are your worshiping the little G gods of idolatry. These represent altars of sacrifice. These represent altars of the works of the flesh. These represent human agreement with these altars. So when we operate in our human soul and we are emotionally engaged with our mind and our, and our will, and we end up in agreement. So this judge decided that a personal protection order, there wasn't valid evidence for it. It allowed my abuser to continue to abuse me by using the judge. And the judge in my case actually had been convicted of drunk driving. Again, works of the flesh. Drunkenness is one of the works of the flesh. So she was in agreement through drunk driving. I don't know how she got to be a judge when you have a drunk driving on your record. It was on videotape and everything. Very humiliating. But she was still allowed to be a judge for the family court system. And I had a domestic abuser. So Matthew 12, 25 talks about that the spirit of God has come upon you when unclean spirits are cast out of a person. So when unclean spirits are cast out of a person, like Jezebel, Leviathan, and Python, you are in the presence of the spirit of God in the kingdom of heaven. So he said, we must bind the strong man, which is Jezebel, Leviathan, and Python, and plunder their goods, which is the works of the flesh, and then we will destroy their house. Again, Satan's government is unified, organized. Everyone is working together for the same goal. The courts, the narcissist, everyone in the system that's in agreement. Again, this is very simple, but true. When they're in agreement of the works of the flesh, they're supporting the kingdom of darkness. And so you must... My abuser was in agreement with this judge because she agreed that I was wrong and he was right. Why? Because the, the, the kingdom of darkness is not divided. They all support one another. So we have the altars of sacrifice, the altars of the work of the flesh. So you have to ask yourself, which kingdom do you belong to? If you agree with the works of the flesh, you are in agreement with the kingdom of darkness. If you are in agreement with the fruits of the spirit, you are in agreement with the kingdom of heaven. All human governments, religions, denominations, families, culture, organizations that operate in this world are altars of sacrifice to the kingdom of darkness through any of the 18 works of the flesh. They make all of these organizations represent the same house of the kingdom of darkness. Now remember, the domestic abuse shelters are being funded by the government, so they must make the government happy.